Boom! You know who it is, your boy Fisher Ken, my main man. Good city. Hey man, we out here again, man. Um, I sure hope you guys got a hold to those ACCs because they are in stock and they are ready to be shipped. Make sure to use the promo code HCTV. Also, man, today, man, we got these seven foot sixes out here. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm excited about this seven six split grip, man. Um, this rod is a little lighter than that eight footer, man. And I, man, lighter is better, guys. I don't care. I mean, it didn't seem like we lost any backbone on them. Both me and uh, Hook City are gonna be using these seven six rods today, man. Um, this is a casting rod. I'm actually loving it for vertical jigging as well. So we're gonna try to cast some of these brush piles. We're gonna vertical jig some of these brush piles if the wind allows it. Hey, one more quick thing, man. The mad scientist, Billy Morgan, aka Crappie Punisher. Go through this stuff real quick with Billy sent to me. Uh, thanks, Billy. I love new colors, man. Here's one. It's like milk. Hey, these are some very durable baits. Um, the one I'm excited about is this uh, black with blue flake. Chartreuse tail um, and the gray belly. The good looking jig, man. Good looking jig. Then we have a blue and orange, which y'all know orange is one of my favorite colors with the chartreuse tail. That's a that's a fool there, boy. That, that boy make them jigs, man. Alright, then we got another one when I want to go natural that I'm really gonna like. This is like a green gold brown. I don't know what I'm gonna call that thing, but hey, that is another good looking, uh, good looking bait. Maybe like bluegill or something. Uh, and then last, let's see, have I ever showed these? No. Then we got a black and green with an orange tail. Also another good color, man. These are the baits we're gonna use today, guys. See if we can get on these fish, man. If you wanna get, get these baits, I'm telling you now, you better hit up Crappie Punisher Jigs. Facebook, Billy Morgan, either one to get you to him, man. This dude is a bad man. And like I say, these are some very durable baits, man. No one hit or quitters, man. Get you some. Billy jig, a white one, regular jig, white. They hit it pretty good, it's a small fish, but we going back in to see what we can do. They say, Billy, do your jigs work? Hey man, I knew what I was getting myself into when I put that Billy jig on. Black and green with that orange tail, that crappie head jig head with the uh, with the chartreuse goatee on it. Hey man, let's go baby. It's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. You know what I come to do, man. That's the kind of stuff happens without a net. ACC, seven foot six. Hey, no issues with that fish, baby. Let's go. Let's get it done. Get the right equipment. You ain't got to worry about no nets. It's a keeper, but it's a crop.
Billy Morgan. Billy Morgan. This is a nice jig. I'm really impressed with it. And it's handling these crappie out here with his ACC 76. Get you one. Hey guys, we got a color change. That's been the donkey catcher of the day right there, man. All right. Uh, Dad was just finished using what I, what I call the bluegill looking bait. Good looking deal, man. Now we're gonna switch it up again. We wanna do some field testing for my boy, Billy Morgan. I'm gonna put on this blue and orange. Y'all know I like that orange. I like that blue and orange with the, uh, with the chartreuse tail. Dad is gonna go with, uh, Man, that man, that's the one I was gonna use next. That black and silver with the chartreuse tail. Y'all stay tuned to see what these things will do for us. Man, I couldn't even get it down there good, y'all. Couldn't even get it down there good. First drop within seconds. They hitting these baits, man. Good colors, good color combinations. Good color. She works. Hey guys, we don't really need no fish, man, but I just want to make sure we got some good pictures of this fish, man. I'm not gonna hold her. I don't want her to die in the live well, even though live wells are working good. We're gonna put this giant back, man. Hey, release them, let them grow. I think this fish can get a little bit bigger. Leave me the potential to catch me a three pounder one day. Let's do it. See what just happened. Y'all see it. Let go of hog and come. Let go of hog and got another one. This one, I probably keep this one. I'm guessing this is the 13 inch range. Y'all see what time it is. Get you some.
I literally couldn't even get that one down there. Couldn't get that one down there good, man. We're in a good class of fish right now. And man, we're gonna let a few of these swim. Dad's gonna keep a few for the grease. That little jig right there, buddy. Get you one of these. guys it's just another testament of what you can do with these rods man look cast and retrieve throw it over the brush pile let it sink once it hits the bottom bring it back slowly over the top of your brush get banged on Good people. Hey guys, that's what this rod is made for. That casting out, reeling it back. Get you some of these. Well guys, if I haven't uh, did anything else, I hope today what I did was let y'all see that the 7 foot 6 ACC split grips, the uh, casting rods, were worth the money man. We got into some good fish, some big fish, out here enjoying nice weather with my old man, aka Hook City. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, uh, Andy, you did a good job on those uh, holes. Uh, I like them. They hold big fish. And uh, anybody watching this channel ought to get them one. Hey, man, besides that, those Billy Morgan baits get you some, man. Work well. But more than anything, man, get out here and enjoy God's country. It's out here for us. Make sure you keep these life jackets on. Believe in Jesus. It's your boy Fishing Ken. I'm out.